Hi, I'm Patrick Siebert with JVC, and I wanted to talk to you a little bit about the 16 by 9 aspect ratio, JVC's 17 by 9 chipset, and maybe even a little bit about how to line up an image on a, on a projector, on anybody's projector for that matter. So the first thing is most of the content that you're going to see out there is going to be 16 by 9. JVC allow you to line that up, but it's the inside lines on the JVC projector. All this area within the green is a 16 by 9 aspect ratio. You get all those pixels. You get 3840 by 2160 in native resolution in the green area. Or if you're using eShift, it'll give you 7680 by 4320. And eShift X will give you all those pixels addressable as well. We actually have a larger chipset than that. You actually don't need to line up the outside line because that's what we need for the simulation industry and all of our technology kind of trickles down from there. That's why we have such amazing contrasting color. So you won't use these little outer areas, this area in yellow, because that's a 17 by nine chipset. Now, if you happen to have 17 by nine content or you make your own with Premiere or whatever, you'll have 4096 by 2160. So you're not really missing out on anything. If you're gonna line up a 235 or 240 or some other aspect ratio because JVC DILA projectors have the ability to go back and forth. We have motorized presets for that. You just line up the top and the bottom with your new content. You, know, you put your 235 content on there and you line up the top and the bottom and it'll fill the whole screen of a 235. Now keep in mind, this doesn't change the content. It won't make 16 by nine content, 235 content or vice versa. If you have a 235 screen and you're using 16 by nine content, you're gonna get black bars on the left and right. If you have a 16 by nine screen and you have 235 content, you're gonna have black bars on the top and bottom. But if you're playing the right content on that same size screen, you'll have the ability to fill up that screen with a JVC projector as long as you have the correct throw ratios. So I also wanted to touch base on lining up the image on your screen. The most important thing is, is to mind your pitch, roll, and yaw. And that needs to be lined up with the screen. So you wanna make sure the projector's lens is parallel to the screen itself. A lot of people will tell me, oh no, I'm positive that my projector's perfectly level. I've taken measurement, it's level. Well, the problem with that is not every screen frame is perfectly level. And certainly you'll almost never see a wall that's perfectly level. So keep in mind the need to keep your, your pitch, roll and yaw completely parallel to the screen itself. And the easiest way for me to think about this when I'm setting up a projector is if one side is too small, that means that the lens is too close to that one side. And you'll see in this diagram, as I rotate the projector, assuming everything else is perfect, the left side is gonna get bigger because it's gonna even out the distance between the left side of the lens and the right side of the lens. Now this concept's probably a little bit harder to understand, but the principle is the exact same. The upper left-hand corner is too far away in comparison to every other corner of the projector lens. So what you would wanna do here is adjust the right rear foot up to kind of bring that back into balance. Keep in mind that when you make these little adjustments, you may have to make every single adjustment on the projector just a little bit again and tweak it. It's going to be give and take. You're going to be adjusting one thing and then readjusting the other stuff, but that's how you get a perfectly aligned picture. 